Manchester United. Uh, how do you sum up the current state of play in the various takeover moves and the Glazers' uh, demand for £6 million to sell a club that they borrowed money on United's account to buy in the first place? It's going to make the the Chelsea takeover look like an Oscar winning film, George. It's going to be a pantomime. It's going to be who did this? I know I'm behind you. Who said what and where? It's going to be a mess, George, simply because you've now got the Glazers that aren't looking at the fact that the the club has had its worst start in nearly 100 years. You've got a manager that's yet to register a point. You've got one of the world's most famous, if not the most famous player in the world, saying he doesn't want to play for your club anymore. They can't sign players in. But no, these aren't the reasons as to why the Glazers are selling. The share price has dropped by 15%. That is why the Glazers are looking to move on a percentage of their club. But there is a big opportunity here. As we've spoken before with Michael Knighton, who was developing a consortium to try and buy Manchester United. Sir Jim Radcliffe has been the name that's coming out that's saying, I want a percentage of Manchester United with a look to own the club in, in its entirety. Like you say, the Glazers have still got a £600 million debt deficit against the club that they used to purchase it. They've uh, accumulated over £731 million in interest on that uh, debt, George, and they've not put any of that money back into the club. It has all been uh, dispersed between them. £113 million the Glazers made during the pandemic on Manchester United, more than any other club owner in the world. And when you look at the state of the pandemic as well, it makes you almost sick. It really, really does. The behaviour of this ownership is is just monstrous. As a Liverpool fan, um, you would think I, I would not have empathy for this situation, but absolutely I do. I want our greatest rivals to be our rivals, George. I don't want them to be languishing at the bottom of the league, talking about what could have been or has been. It just seems wrong. And I, I live in Manchester, George, and you feel the the lack of success not necessarily hurting but the next generation coming through i see a lot more manchester city kits on kids george with parents wearing united shirts and i think a lot of that is down to the fact of that they don't see a cohesive future for the club they go to old trafford i drove past it two days ago the m uh, is not working on the sign outside of the sir alex ferguson stadium it's had to be replaced you can see during the games it, when it rains that fans are getting wet because the ceiling is leaking on them. The fact that this club has not had any investment other than the money it's made, George, is simply a tragedy. It is a travesty. 